Almost every film director has a solution to prevent making a flat, naive or unrealistic scene. One of most important and practical ways to do that is putting props, characters or anything to cover or block parts of the subject. Max Ophuls is one of the most notable directors who did blocking in a unique way to create a particular mise-en-scene. Ophuls movies mise-en-scenes have famous features like line take, complex camera choreography, use of crane, complicated character blocking, constantly moving subjects, and the most important thing is that the camera follows drama through something which is blocking or covering part of the subject. It defines the independent will of camera as an embodiment of consciousness, which is a modernistic quality. We can call it multi-level set. Now let's go deeper into that. Max Ophuls put things ahead and behind the subject. For example, in this scene from the movie The Earring of Madame Du, there are glasses in front and mirror behind the subject. This Pelmel scene augments the delusion of being in the party for viewers likewise being an observer. The observation is a key element in Max Ophuls' universe. We can say that Ophuls movies are not plot driven, neither character driven, but something in between. Ophuls' camera observes character feelings and dramatic decisions. Ophuls is not obsessed with luxury and glamorous nature of characters and places, but on the contrary, he wants to bold the distance between characters and viewers to prevent this obsession. This is a technique in order to observe purely. A great example for this idea is the famous crane shot in the movie Le Plaisir. When camera prevents to enter the brothel, thereby just follow the subject from outside. In this scene, the subject is covered by many columns, walls, doors and windows. Likewise, there are many others in Ophuls' movies. The railings, curtain, glass, candlestick, flowers, and people. or even birdcage wheel. In this scene from the movie The Earring of Madame Du, foreground layer which include dancers made it charming and soft. But here in Le Plaisir, the set design in foreground, along fast camera tracking, made the scene harsh, tense and furious. Ophuls uses this technique to add texture and innovation in framing of images. For example, here in the movie Cult, the ladder divided the frame into three sections and characters forced to this corner. It conveys the dramatic situation when the woman is under pressure to make a key decision for her life. I know what happens to a child whose parents haven't got anything. 
That's where you came back to him, isn't it? No, I came back for my baby, for his future. I want security. You want money. Isn't that why you married no, him? For no, security? No, I thought I loved him. You mean you made yourself think that? In this scene from the movie La Ronde, composition and framing are full of horizontal and vertical lines. The lines are coming out from set designing. Chairs, windows, railing, doors in different layers and in Dutch angle shots. It conveys an unstable feeling of character. In addition, these lines create texture in images, which is rich in aesthetic aspects. We should consider that depth cues in mise-en-scene created three-dimensional abstract space. This mise-en-scene make a dynamic relation between foreground and background. Max Ophuls movies have been considered as a theatrical style filmmaking, but they are more cinematic than any other movies, because his movies are relying deeply on camera and its movement. The camera that prevent to judge, also it seems that it's just curious. The camera dances, whereas multi-level set hides the dancing camera. <laughs> 